Hi, my name is John DeMaio. I'm a student physical therapist here at Miami Dade College, and today I'll be doing elbow flexion range of motion. According to the AOS, the normal range of motion for elbow flexion is 150 degrees. Hi, Ali. My name is John DeMaio. I'll be your student physical therapist assistant for today. Um, today I'm going to be doing some range of motion. So basically I'm going to have you lay on your back, and I'm going to be building, bending your elbow, and just to check on your mobility. So all I want you to do is just relax, and I'll be doing most of the work. So can you lay on your back? So I just placed the patient in the testing position. I'm now going to move the patient through the available range. The end feel is soft. A visual estimate, it looks about 145 degrees. I'm going to place the patient back in the starting position. I'm going to palpate the anatomical landmarks. So the fulcrum of the goniometer is going to go over the lateral epicondyle. The distal arm. I'm sorry, the proximal arm is going to be over the lateral aspect of the humerus and I'm going to be using the acromium as the reference point. And the distal arm is going to be along the lateral aspect of the radius and I'm going to be using the, radius, the radial styloid process as my uh, reference point. I'm going to record the range of the starting position. In this case it is zero. I'm going to remove the goniometer and I'm going to perform passive range of motion. I'm going to realign the goniometer and I'm going to read and record the range. In this case, she's at 145 degrees. And that's elbow flexion range of motion. 